<laughs> Praise the Lord. Sige po, tayo po ay uh, magpatuloy sa ating pinag-aaralang series. Tayo po ay nasa um, Psalm 121. There. Alright. Uh, kindly open your Bibles with me. Tayo po ngayon is, uh, sa Psalm 121 na po. We'll be reading the whole chapter. Kindly open your Bibles with me. Kayo po ay na, just say Amen, mga kapatid. Allow me to read this with you in English Standard Version. I lift my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord. who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in for this time forth and forevermore. Let us pray. Father, we are truly grateful to you because you have enabled each one of us to be here in this place. You have empowered us to be here in this place. And we are so blessed, Lord. These are enough reasons for us to praise you. And these are enough reasons for us to truly worship you with all of our hearts, with all of our soul, with all of our minds, and with all of our strength. Lord, this is your time. And we would like to minister to you. We would like to know what you'd like us to hear and learn through your words. And so we ask, Holy Spirit, we'd like to know the truths of your words. Speak to us. Teach us. Reveal to us the truths of your words. Open our ears and our hearts. And we may hear you. And we may accept all the things that you are going to say to us this morning. Break us, O oh Lord, and mold us as we listen to your words. Panginoon, alam po namin at inaamin namin ang worship na ito ay in vain. Kung hindi po kami, maka, hindi po namin madinig ang yung tinig na nangungusap sa amin Ayun sa yung mga salita, O oh Diyos. Kaya po, O oh Diyos, ito po ang pinaka-importante sa amin. So, Lord, bless us by hearing your words this morning. Thank you, Lord. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, my God, my rock and my redeemer. Lord Jesus Christ, Be glorified. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Lato tay magsabi ng Amen. The Lord watches over His people. Amen. The Lord watches over His people. Amen. Para ayaw niyo puno na mga kapatid. Liti ko po for the last time. The Lord watches over His people. I alam niyo po hindi po I am not surprised. Why we parang we don't have this, this kind of excitement and gratefulness and thankfulness in our actions and in, 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 in our words because sa totoo lang po, mga kapatid, we do not fully understand kung ano po talaga yung meaning that the Lord watches over His people. 
We have got to understand this, mga kapatid, and like to... Uh, alam mo, sometimes po, nagkakaroon po ako ng struggle because hindi ko na po alam kung I am in the mode in the mode of preaching and teaching. Hindi ko na po malaman. But I'd like to be myself to you this morning. I'd like us, I'd like us to understand one important thing. We do not deserve the Lord's watching over us. We all admit that we are all sinners. Amen. And we deserve His punishment. Amen. Amen. Who among us here would, would, would have the, the courage to stand up and say, I deserve the goodness of God? Nobody. I will not even have the courage to do that. I am a terrible person. In fact, I might even ag ag admit that I, I might be the most terrible person inside this room right now. Kung magkakaroon lang po tayo ng comparison. I am a wretched person. I am a sinful person. And the good God, that good God, I say, I would say right now, the Lord watches over me. What courage do I have? Anong, anong lakas na loob meron ako para sabihin ito? But you see, church, listen up. Because our God is good. He is good. His nature is good. And He is loving. And He is true to His words when He said, I will be your God and you will be my people. And here goes. In spite of the fact that we are all sinners, God watches over us. In spite of the fact that we do not deserve His goodness, He still shows goodness. Kahit po, mga kapatid, Wala ho siyang makitang kahit na anong rason para maging mabuti po siya sa atin. Nagiging mabuti po siya sa atin. You know why? Because of His Son, Jesus Christ. If we are going to take Christ out of the equation, then, we all just deserve His anger and punishment and judgment. Tama po ba? And this is this psalm. This psalm is, is shouting, is saying, the Lord watches over His people. Now, I'd like us to see the connection. Remember, in Psalm 120, tinalunan po natin yan. Ito pong Psalm 120, kung tititigan po niya, I hope your Bibles are still open. You will find out there, you will carefully and you will immediately notice the psalm is still in the mode of prayer. Nasa panalangin pa rin po siya. Deals more on prayer and the necessity of it. Yung situation po dyan sa 120, makikita po ninyo na yung psalm is po Siya po ay laging nasa mode ng prayer. And it teaches that God surely answers the prayers of those who seek Him and trust Him and put His confidence in Him. Ang Diyos po natin tumutugon po sa panalangin dun po sa mga taong tunay na hinahanap Siya. Siya lang ang hinahanap. Doon po sa totoong nagtitiwala sa Kanya at doon po sa totoong ang confidence niya lamang ay ang Kanyang Panginoon. At yung po Psalm 120, pinapakita po mga kapatid ng psalmist, is that dahil nga po siya inananalang, hindi po ba, this is a clear display of full submission to God's will. He's saying, your will be done, Lord. Your will be done. See, just like our Lord Jesus Christ, 
nun siya po ay greatly distressed by lying lips and deceitful tongues around with people around him, he found sufficient grace to bear in silence by waiting upon his heavenly Father. Di ba maraming beses natin nababasa in the Gospels kung paano po ito preach ng mga apostles? How the Lord Jesus Christ waited for His Father. Meaning to say, He went alone and talked with His Father. When we are greatly distressed by lies and deceits, we find sufficient grace to go on by trusting and relying on our Lord Jesus Christ. Ito lang po ang tanong ko, mga kapatid. When we pray, do we give God instructions or do we report for duty? Ang laki po ng pagkakaiba, right? Tingnan po nga natin, magkaroon nga po tayo ng very short self-evaluation ngayon. And let's see our prayer. Oo nga, no? Doon ba sa prayer ko, nagbibigay ako ng instruction sa Lord? O I am there saying, I'm reporting for duty, Lord. Hello. You see, ito pong Psalm 21, pag-aarala po natin, at coming from Psalm 120, we will see your reasons why such trust and confidence in God. Makikita po natin yung connecting down to Psalm 120. Ano nga ba yung rason ng psalmist? Bakit na ganun yung kanyang tiwala at confidence sa kanyang Diyos? You know why? Verse clearly, the Lord watches over His people. Please take note. Ang gamit po na term is watching over His people. You see, ito pong psalm is a song of ascent. Gusto ko po kayo bigyan ng, ng background. Alam niyo po, maybe nagtataka kayo, bakit, bakit ba kayo pastors ngayon nag, nagdadwell so much uh, sa pag, pag, pagbigay ng, uh, ng importance in discussing itong song of ascent? Kasi mga kapatid, nandyan po sa Bible eh. Na, nababasa po natin eh. And dito po sa Sa Psalm 121, if you are using ESV, immediately, makikita niyo po agad dyan as a way of title is a song of ascents. Now, hindi po nilagayan dyan for nothing. That is there to inform us and to teach us of something. Uh, ano po ba yung um, sa, uh, ascent, song of ascent? Now, originally, ito, pong song, ito po ay song by Jewish worshippers. On, on their twice yearly pilgrimages to Jerusalem for the festival of Passover, festival of harvest, and festival of shelters or tabernacles. Ang tawagin nila. So ito pong Jew, Jews, twice a year po silang, kahit sila po ay nasa ibang lugar, so twice a year na po nilang practice, they go to Jerusalem to worship. Lalo na po pag ito po yung time ng Passover, time ng Festival ng harvest at ng shelters. Now, this reflects the thoughts of a pilgrim away from home, longing for peace, protection, and provision. So, ito ngayon, remember, ito ngayon, kanta nito, awitin nito, inalikha po ito, out, pangi, mga kapatid, sa pananaw nila, sa pagtitiwala nila sa Diyos, na, na sa ang Diyos nila ay gagabayan sila all throughout their journey towards Jerusalem. Right? So, yun po yung uh, uh, makikita natin. Now, of course, bakit asen? Yun, Salmi's vision was set firmly on his goal, uh, goal, Jerusalem, and the hill of God, Zion. Remember, mga kapatid, ang Jerusalem po ay, is nasa up, upper part ng Israel. Nasa mataas na lugar siya. Nasa hills of Zion. Right? So, ngayon, kaya nga sabi, Song of Ascents. So, yung pilgrimage nito, their journey paakyat po doon sa, 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 sa Zion Hill, sa Jerusalem. Kaya, Song of Ascents. Very, very important. His eyes were on the Lord. Immediately sinasabi niya. And He expressed deep and heavy trust in Him. Brothers and sisters, please take note. Ang, ang, ang journey po ng panahon nila is nothing to compare with our journey right uh, in our days. 
Hindi po safe talaga nun. <laughs> so itong, itong ngayon mga worshippers ito, mga pilgrimage, na, mga pilgrimage na ito, mga kapatid, alam niyo po, na ganun na lang po yung kanilang pangamba, ganun po yung fear nila. Hindi po easy to go to where, where they want to go. Okay, now, remember, Jerusalem po, located sa hill country and was surrounded by hills. Ha? And yan po ay mababasa agad natin sa Psalm 121 verse 1. Now, one of these in Zion, sabi ko nga kanina, meron po special importance ito sa Psalmist because God had made His presence known in a special way there. Doon po sa hills of Zion. Kaya po, very special mention po yung hill of Zion. Now, Magwag po naman natin bigyan ng, ng ano na uh, sa kailangan sambahin ko ang hills of Zion. <laughs> Ganon po kasi ang, ang tendencies ng tao, right? If, if there's uh, something of, of divine or supernatural way there, tendency is that sinasamba na po natin yung material, not anymore yung nagpakita at nag-reveal ng sarili niya. Nasusundan niyo po, mga kapatid? Okay? <laughs> Now, Psalm 21 was apparently intended to bestow confidence in those making the pilgrimage to Jerusalem to worship. Now, gano'n po ito ka-importante sa, sa ating lahat, mga kapatid? Okay? Bakit, ko, bakit po natin kailangan maintindihan ito? Immediately, Psalmist is saying to us, God is His people's guardian. Please take note, ginamit ko po His people's guardian. He is not guardian. He is not guardian to those who are not His people. He is only guardian to His people. Kaya po itong Psalm 121 na to, listen up church, kung ikaw ay totoong mananampalataya para sa iyo to. Para sa'yo to. Para sa'yo to. He is saying to you right now, Guardian mo He is saying to you now, He protects, guides, and blesses you. You don't need to ask for a guardian angel. Hello? Because the very one who's guarding His people is God Himself. Hihingin ko pa ba yung sugo? Ang nagbabantay na nga sa akin yung nagsugo. Nasusundan niyo po ito mga katayin. How greatly blessed the people of God is. Now, gusto ko pang binitawan dito. God will neither slumber nor sleep. Wow! Wow! Ang ganda po ng binitawan ng psalmist dito at gusto ko po ma-excite kayo dito. Ang just niyo po, hindi po yan Parilax, relax. Pakuyakuyakoy. Hindi po yan natutulog sa pansitan. Yan po yung Diyos na hindi nagre-relax. At always His eyes are upon His people. Ano po yung gusto nating sabihin? At gusto sabihin ng psalmist dito, Hey, your God needs no help. Your God needs no sleep. So there was no danger that the psalmist would be forgotten or overlooked. Nasusundan niyo po yun? Yung Diyos po natin, mga kapatid, hindi po napapagod, hindi niya po kailangan ng tulog. So what does that mean? Your God, His eyes are always with you. He is looking upon you. He is staring upon you. He is making sure, I am the guardian of my people. Hindi po galit, dynamic lang. Kaya hindi po natin pwedeng sabihin ngayon sa ating sali, mga kapatid, naku, nakalimutan na yata ako ng Lord. O kaya naman na-overlook niya ako. Kapatid, if that is your thinking, then perhaps you are worshiping another God. Kasi hindi yon ang pagpapakilala na ating Diyos. So remember, naalala niyo po, mga kapatid, Yung sinabi po ni Elijah sa 1 Kings 18, 26-27, alam niyo po yung nag-contest sila ng mga prophets ni Baal, 
At saka ni Elijah, naalala niyo po ikaw, kwento na to. Ano sabi ni Elijah? Sige, tawagin niyo na lahat ng gusto niyo tawagin. Magtulong-tulong na kayo. Sige, okay. Bibigyan ko kayo ng maghapon. Sige lang. And then, nung hindi nagsasagot, di ba, ang sabi doon, oh, Uh, Ang sa dumating na sila sa point na, you know, bin- sinusugatan ni nila yung sarili nila. Ano, talagang. And then, sigaw sila na sagot, but no answer. And then, sabi ni Elijah sa 27, And at noon, Elijah mocked them saying, Cry aloud! For he is a God. Either he is musing or he is relieving himself or he is on a journey, or perhaps he is asleep and must be awakened. Yan sabi ni Elijah, sige, pahalakasan niyo pa, baka naman mamaya yung Diyos niyo hindi rin naririnig, busy masyado sa iba. Ako baka naman nasa CR. O baka naman nasa journey pa, tawagin niyo na. Ito ang pinakamatindi. O baka naman natutulog yan, kailangan niyo nang gisingin. Singin niyo na. Here. The, the psalmist and Elijah together saying, Your God does not slumber nor sleep. Elijah is about to prove to all these prophets, Ito ang totoong Diyos. Ito ang totoong Diyos. At ang totoong Diyos na to, hindi na papagod. Hindi na kailangan ng tulog. Hello. However, I'd like us to understand, brothers and sisters, this God is a covenant relationship kind of God. In, in fact, He is the only God. When I say covenant relationship, brothers and sisters, yung pagiging guardian niya to over His people, nakapasok po ito dun sa kanyang relasyon, covenant relationship with His people. So here goes. Kung wala po tayong relationship with God, then we cannot claim this promise. Mga kapatid, ito po yung part ng special grace ng Lord sa kanyang mga tao. Ito po yung part na special grace na gusto ko po maunawaan natin. Because of our Lord Jesus Christ, We have, and we have this future that we will inherit all the treasures of heaven together with His Son, Jesus Christ. We are so rich spiritually na hindi po natin fully realized. Kaya po minsan isa pong anak ng Diyos pag namuhay po siya, parang talo ng talo ng talaga, na daig po siya ng mga taong wala po sa Lord Jesus Christ. Butik pang ahul mga, mga tao na wala kayo sa Lord Jesus Christ, meron po silang tinatawag na endurance and perseverance. Di ba? Meron din naman tayo doon, mga kapatid. Right? And then, nandun pa yung by the willpower, what the mind conceives. Di ba? Butik pang ahul itong mga ito, may ganun eh. Pero tayo mga anak ng Diyos, konting problema. Ano pag dumating po yung problema, mga bagsak na balikat. Na para mga, alam niyo po, hindi natin, we do not know, oh, alam na po yung magagawin natin, what's, what to do next, and what we ought to do. Na nakakalimutan po natin, mga kapatid, we are special people because of the Lord Jesus Christ. Na meron po tayong isang Diyos na alam na alam niya po, mga kapatid, yung situation natin. At meron po tayong isang Diyos na pag umiyak po tayo na kahit na wala na po tayo masabing any words, we cannot utter any words anymore, and just crying, crying, we can still be assured that our God can understand those tears falling in our from our eyes. Yung konting ingit mo, laging taintindihan ng Lord mo yun. And that is special grace, brothers and sisters. That cannot be enjoyed by those people who are not in the Lord Jesus Christ. I'd like us to understand these things. To those who know Him as the psalmist does. Kaya po itong psalmist, ganun lang po yung awit niya. Ganyan lang po yung mga declaration niya. You know why? It's saying that I have a relationship with my Lord. And to those who believe His words and keeps. Now, the Lord is the very present help 
of His people. Gusto ko po yung immediately, mga kapatid, itong sinabi sa verses 1 and 2. Okay. Here. Yung help po. This time po, switch po ako sa teaching mode. Okay lang po ba sa inyo, mga kapatid? Because I'd like us to understand many things. Yung help po dito means aid, support, or deliverance. Yan po yung meaning ng help dito. So, nung sinabi po ng psalmist dito, My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. So, the psalmist is saying here, My aid is the Lord. My support is the Lord. And my deliverance is the Lord. Yun po yung sinasabi ng psalmist dito. Next, yung keep. I love this word. Yung keep po dito is the Hebrew shama. That is to keep, guard, watch over, attend to, ano daw po? Careful. With such care, He is attending to His people. So here, sinasabi po agad sa atin, He who keeps Israel the whole of God's people also is He who keeps you as the particular member of His family. Nasundan niyo po yung sabi ng psalmist, He who keeps Israel. He is also saying to each one of you and us right now, yung pong nagtetake care sa Israel na Diyos, yan din po yung nagtetake care na Diyos sa bawat isa sa So, for what does the Lord keep His people and from and how? So, from what does the Lord keep His people from and how? So, ito po yung, I'd like us to uh, set the tone immediately. Saan nga ba kinikip ng Lord ang kanyang mga hinirang at papano niya po kinikip ito? So, I'd like to set the tone immediately. First, gusto ko maintindihan natin. The Lord keeps because He is all-powerful. Verses 1 and 2. Okay? Gusto ko po ma 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 maintindihan natin, mga kapatid, na kaya po may kakayanan ng Lord to keep His people, it's because He is all-powerful. Hindi po siya, mga kapatid, yung, yung kind na being na pagka dinispense niya na po yung energy, yung power niya, siya po yung nawawala na energy. Nasusunod niya po? Nakatulad po natin mga tao. Na, you know, when we tend to help people, ang tendency po, tayo po yung naubusan ng energy and resources, right? But this kind of God, this God of ours, this God of, this God of ours, brothers and sisters, when He dispense help, when He dispense support, when He dispense aid, when He is there to take care of His people and give help to His people, hindi po siya nauubusan ng lakas. He doesn't run out of power. He doesn't run out of logistics and resources. That every time His people will be needing in tremendous amount or little amount, He can over-surpass the, the kind of help that His people is wanting or needing. Nasasundan niyo po ako, mga kapatid, Gusto ko pa ba intindihan na kapag ka ang isa pong being nagsabi siyang, I will watch over my people, then kailangan nandun ka sa point na ikaw ay all-powerful. At sinasabi ngayon ng psalmist, then that is your God. That is my God. He is my God. The psalmist here, help comes from the covenant creator God. Now, can you imagine, yung help niya po, sinasabi niya, my help comes from the Lord, and who is the Lord? The one who made the heavens and the earth. Sinasabi ng psalmist dito, hey, yung help ko, ito yung, siya yung God na creator. At hindi lang siya creator, covenant God pa siya. Sinasabi niya ganito, once he tell, told us that he will do, he will do, he will do. Covenant. My point is this, brothers and sisters. Yung Creator God, look at this. 
Ang Diyos po natin, He created all material creation out of nothing. Tama po ba ako? Nung in-start niya pong create ang all creation, meron po ba siya material na ginapit? Wala. So He created all these things na nakikita natin out of nothing. And He continue on create his, creating His creation out of those something which He created out of nothing. So here's the point, brothers and sisters. Yung pong help na binibigay niya po sa kanyang mga tinirang, it's not impossible to him. Kung create na nga po ang creation out of nothing, yung pangaho kayang kailangan nating sa tingin natin, imposible. Madalas po sa buhay natin, no? May mga bagay po tayo iniisip, imposible na yata ito. The church, listen up. If the Lord calls you to do something which is to you impossible, He will make sure it will be possible. Because the God whom you are calling, the God whom you have relationship with, is the Creator. He'd like you to, uh, to go through a desert, He will make a way for you in the desert. He would like you to cross the, the sea, He will part the sea for you. He would like you to cross the Jordan River, He will part the Jordan River for you. He would like you to do a ministry that you think impossible to you, God will equip you and give you the power to do it. You see, the one who is there with the speaker is the same one who demonstrated his power by creating all his people. So the writer's hope is not in the mountains, but in the one who made the mountains. So habang nagalalakbay po ito, sinasabi niya, look at the mountains. Where does my, my, my help comes from? From the hill? No. From the one who I'm going to worship. From the one who I am worshiping. You see, He the Lord and He is the creator of the heavens and the earth. Amen? And comes to the aid, support, and de deliverance of His people. Brother, sister, ano man yung situation mo ngayon? Whatever that situation you have, if you are in Christ, your Lord is your aid. Your Lord comes to your aid. Your Lord comes to your support. Your Lord comes to your help. He will keep you. And your Lord is the Creator. He is the all-powerful God. Second, the Lord keeps us from falling. In po yung sa verse 3. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Anong gusto sabihin dito, mga kapatid? This means that God will not let your foot be moved that is like to sleep as you walk. Hindi ka hayaan niya madulas. Hindi ka niya hayaan magbabamagsak, mga kapatid. He will make sure that you will not fall. Next po, mga kapatid. <laughs> so yung sabi sa Psalm 38.16. For I said only... Let them not rejoice over me who boast against me when my foot sleeps. Also, in Psalm 66, verse 9, He said, Who has kept our soul among the living and has not let our feet sleep? So here, nakikita natin that all throughout the Psalm, spread po yung sinasabing, those who are in covenant relationship with God, God will not let them fall. God will not let them let their foot sleep. This is a particular app image for God's careful protection. Israel was a notorious for rock and slippery terrain. Remember, 
Yan po ang condition ng ng ano po no ng 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 ng, ng lupa ng 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 geography ng 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 land dun po sa 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 Israel and he is, the psalmist is saying here kahit na ganyan rock and slippery well, I will not slip I will not stumble I will not fall he said that, I, I know my God will make this sure it is it's not a promise that all the physical problems na na, na ma associated with our situation will be automatically erased Hindi po yun sinasabi rin dito. But He will reinforce our spiritual character so that He will not sleep in our faith and walk during these times. Hindi, hindi po sinasabi ng psalmist dito, walang mangyayaring masama sa atin. That's not the way how we interpret this. The psalmist is just saying, Hey, whatever your situation mo, sisiguratuhin ng Lord, Yung situation na yun, mare-reinforce yung spiritual character mo. And because mare-reinforce yung spiritual character mo and grow to mature, then you will stand firmly, trusting Him. And you will not sleep in your faith and walk as you follow Him in these times. Kaya po, men, ang point po dito is maintaining spiritual walk. Yan po yung point dito. Ang gusto po sabihin sa atin na not fall, uh, uh, not not sleep or not fall, it's not then you bang always God first and, 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 and self second. Parang sinasabi dito, hindi niya hayang mag-fall ka para, para ikaw ay lumayo sa Lord. Nasusundan po ninyo yun? Ang, sasabi, ang sinasabi niya sa atin, hindi niya hayang mag-fall ka at lalayo ka sa Lord. Hindi niya hayang tatalukod ka sa Lord. Brother, sister, by the way, Kapag kami tumaligod po sa Lord, baka po isa lang ibig sabihin nun, wala talaga siya sa Lord. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, there will, there will be times that, alam nyo, nandun tayo sa down ng, ng ating walk, right? And nandun na ba tayo sa up ng, ng Christian walk natin, right? Pero never tayong nasabihin natin, ayoko na sumunod sa Lord. Because those who are in the Lord, their desire is still to follow the Lord. And then, when they see themselves slowly sleeping away from the Lord, He will immediately tell to Himself or herself, I need to go back to the Lord. Kaya ako po nasasabi, mga patid, yung tumatalikod sa Lord, baka naman talagang Wala sila sa Lord. Kapatid, if you find yourself being called to the Lord right now, called, C-O-L-D, not C-A-L-L-E-D, if you feel some kind of coldness in your heart towards the Lord, brother, sister, it's a hot warning for you. Go back to the Lord. Go back to the Lord. So, ipang sleep not to sleep here, brothers and sisters, ito pala is yung help we need is above all else is in maintaining faithfulness. That's the psalmist is trying, what is trying to tell to us. My question is, is our first concern in the time of crisis the quality of our faithfulness or the desire to escape? Lord, Hindi ko na kaya. Alisin mo na ako dito. Or, Lord, hindi ko na kaya. Alisin mo na ito sa akin. Alam niyo po, ang tinuturo sa atin ng passage, Lord, teach me what I need to learn out of this situation. And give me the strength to go through this situation. You are my God. You will not let me fall away. Kaya po yung mga, mga tests natin, yung mga trials natin, mga kapatid, embrace it. Love it. You know why? The more that you will know your Lord there in that situation the more that you will grow more in that situation. 
from a simple stone to a diamond. From a simple stone rock to 24 carats gold. Yan po yung objective ng Lord sa atin. Number three, the Lord keeps us from dangers at all times. Amen? Amen? Sabi sa verse 4, doon na lang po tayo. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. So here, gusto ko po isa-isayin to. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. Ano ibig sabihin yun? The Lord is near. Alam niyo po sa Hebrew, pag sinasabing right hand, it's also, it speaks of being near. Hello? So here the psalm is saying, right hand, the Lord, your Lord is near you. Your Lord is near you. You are in a battle right now. Amen? We are always in a battle right now. Amen? Remember, your Lord is near, with, near you. And, and He is our protector. He is, remember, He is our champion. Our champion is near. Hindi yun siya nandun sa malayo. Kailangan mo mo tawag. Oy, kailangan ko ng tulong. He's near. He's beside each one of His people. Hallelujah. And He is always present with them. And, he, and that He is the source even behind their individual strength. Nandun siya, present siya, at siya rin po yung nagbibigay ng strength sa kanyang mga hinirang. Alam po, gusto ko po yung sinabi dito sa verse 6. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. Ang ganda eh. Ay, ako papalagpasin. Alam mo yung sun? Di ba ba? Sun is, uh, represents a day, right? So here, the Lord is saying, he is with us during the day, daytime. But hindi lang po yun. Ano pa po yun, nirepresent ng sun? Di pa po yun, extreme scorching heat in the desert? Kasi remember, pil pilgrimage po ito. Yun po yung experience itong mga taon to, right? And then yung moon, sinabi po. Moon, nirepresent niya in night. Here he is, sinasabi niya ng psalmist. Hindi lang by daytime, also in nighttime. The Lord is with me. Now, ano po po yung nirepresent ng cold? Eh, alam, niyo po sa, alam niyo po sa desert sa Israel? Alam niyo po nakatuwa po ang weather dyan? Sa umaga, it may, it may be extremely hot. Sa gabi, it may be extremely cold. Kaya po, sinasabi na sa Almis, yung moon eh, nagre-represent po na extreme cold at night. So, here, sinasabi na sa Almis, the Lord protects His people in everything in between. The Lord protects His people at all times. So, in-express dito na psalmist, hey, huwag kayong magalala. Yung Lord ninyo, kasama niyo day and night. Huwag kayong magalala. Ang Lord ninyo, whatever man situation niyo, extreme uh, scorching heat ba yan, or extreme cold, the Lord is ever present and there beside you. Ano ginawa niya po sa mga Israelita? During the night, He gave them the pillar of fire. And during the morning, He gave them the pillar of cloud. Brother, sister, yun po ang Lord natin. He goes before His people and He strengthens His people and His presence is with His people and He also watches the back of His people. That is our Lord. God is working. Hey, church, your God is working all the time. His people are always standing in His shadow and, his, and, it's, and, and what is not in our control is under His control. My question, are there any situations, any factors that you're not fully trusting in God's power and authority? Meron ba, ba, sa, meron ba sa buhay niyo na hindi pa natin pinagtitiwala? By the way, brother, sister, whether you like it or not, whether you are willing or unwilling, He will make you willing. Hello? <laughs> Kung meron man po sa life natin that we have not fully trust, trusted to God and not submitted to His will, Listen up, ulitin ko po. Whether willing or unwilling po tayo, He will make sure we will be, He will make us willing. You know why? Because He is your God. And that God, and our God, 
is the all-powerful God. He has all authority to exercise His power over His people. Ang isa pong magulang, pag nakikita niya po yung anak niya, naliligaw na lang landas. Di ba gagawin niya lahat para may tama? In all his ability, in all his power, within their power and ability, they will do everything para yung anak nila may tama. Tama po ba? But of course, yung power ng magulang is limited. But here goes, yung tatay natin sa langit who is all-powerful, he will make us, he, he, will, he will make the straight bend. And he will, he will, old, he will make the bended straight. Nasusundan niyo po ako, mga kapatid. And is there a persistent issue in your life that might be traced back to the fact that you think the influences are too big even for God to help? Meron pa ba mga situation, issue sa buhay natin na ganito? Hindi ko kaya. Maraming tatamaan, maraming masasaktan. Mas malaki pa, ba si, mas malaki pa ba sila at mas makapangyarihan pa ba sila kaysa sa Diyos na inyong sinasamba? I, 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 I guess nothing can compare with our God. Amen? So here, the Lord will keep you from all evil, ang ganda, and keep your, your life. And the Lord will keep your going out and your coming in and this time forth forevermore. Anong sinasabi dito? Mga kapatid, yung evil at yung going out and coming in. Of course, nasusundan niyo po, sinasabi ka, go going back, yung pong dangers towards doon sa journey nila. And then once they come, they, they went in sa, sa, sa city, sa, sa Jerusalem, sa worship, they are protected, they are kept. And once they go out and go back to their place, they are always Yep, yun yung sinasabi, right? I-picture natin to. But however, ganito. Gusto ko po i-point. Wala naman tayo sa Israel, hindi na natin ginagawa to, right? No. Pinapakita ng passage na ito, mga kapatid. This life is a journey. This life is a journey. And we face many dangers in this life. Tama po ba ako? The which includes this pandemic. Tama po ba ako, mga kapatid? And, and here, we can also say and we also can sing this kind of song towards there, towards as we journey this life, saying, My Lord, my God will keep me. It's, 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 ito po ay allegory na isang tao namumuhay po ng life's toil sa journey na ito in this world and to His eternal kingdom. Brothers and sisters, di ba sinabi ng Bible sa atin, our, our home, our permanent home is not here, but there with the Lord. So tawag po sa atin, right? Sojourners. We are in a journey. We are all in a journey towards that hope that we have. At ang hope po natin is to be there in the eternal kingdom. Amen? Nandun po ang ating, nandun po ang eternal, eternal state natin, mga kapatid. And here, as we go through this life journey, as we battle this life's battles, as we battle these wars in, the, in life, the psalmist is saying, hey, He will protect your soul. Brothers and sisters, does that mean that when we say no evil and going out and coming in, hindi na po tayo magkakasakit, hindi na po tayo magpa-face ng sorrow and suffering? Gusto ko pong bigyan ng konting uh, diin ito, mga kapatid. Does that mean na hindi na po tayo magkakasakit? Does that mean that we are not going to face sufferings? Does that mean that we are not going to face sorrows in this life? Yes, we are. Kaya po, sinabi ng psalmist, mga kapatid, gusto ko po yung sinabi sa literal standard version eh. In verse 7, Yahweh preserves you from all evil. He preserves your soul. He is not saying here, He will preserve your physical bodies. But He will preserve your soul. Nasusundan natin, mga kapatid. He is saying, He will make sure that in your journey in life, you will finish it and be with the Lord Jesus Christ. Yun po yung sinasabi rito, mga kapatid. No? It's just, it's not particular with physical aspect. 
Kasi itong physical aspect natin, mga kapatid, these are decaying. I'm already... Sabihin ko ba yung age ko? <laughs> I'm already 52 years old. 53 this years. But I only look 35. <clears throat> Binaliktad ko lang po yung number na po. Pagbigyan nyo na po ako. You see, dati lang, nakikita ko yung katawan ko, singkisig ng mga binata dito. Pero ngayon, pag humarap ako sa salamin, mas makisig yung katawan ko kaysa sa kanila. Eh, minsan, sinasabi ng asawa ko sa akin ganito. Most of you knows my father, right? Kilala niyo si Pastor Ruben. <laughs> si Sister Menchu, pagka minsan daw bumababa siya ng bahay, nakikita nang andun ako nagbabasa. Sabi niya, pa, para ko na nakikita si tatay sa iyo. <laughs> sabi ko, sabi sa sarili ko, is that supposed to be a compliment or what? Hindi, <laughs> wala, eh, alam mo, sabi ng asawa ko, naku, tumatanda na yung asawa ko, something like that. Anyway, my point is this. O kayo mga, kayo mga bata, Wag niyo pagmamalaki yung lakas niyo ngayon. Tatanda rin kayo. Hey, 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 listen up. Hindi pa ako tapos. Kayo matatanda, bilang na kayo. Hey, 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 hey here, here, here. Here goes. It's sinasabi, ng, sinasabi ni Solomon sa Proverbs. Sinasabi ng song sa Proverbs. Teach us to number our days. Here, 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 here. Sinasabi ngayon sa ating ngayon. This body, whether we like it or not, this is decay. Kahit na anong gawin mo. This is decay. We live it. Sinasabi ng Lord through this psalm, ano mas importante? Yung soul natin. Because yung soul natin, yan po yung eternal element sa atin. And you have got to take care of that. You know why? Because the physical body, when the Lord returns, this will be renewed and this will be glorified. Just like our Lord's. Kaya huwag na natin intindihin to. I'm not saying pabayaan yun na. What is important, more important is our soul. At yun po yung sinasabi ng salmis, hey, He's taking care of our soul. Sabi ng Lord, naalala nyo, Matthew 10, 28. 500 slides po kasi ito eh. And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. The Lord Jesus himself said that his kingdom is not of this world. Amen. It is more important to make it into this kingdom than to achieve temporary peace in this present age. Kailangan maintindihan po natin, mga kapatid, mas importante po sa atin, mapasama doon po sa kanyang kaharian na magkaroon po ng kapayapaan sa mundong ito. Because we will never achieve peace in this world. We have Eternal assurance of health, not temporal. When we get sick, which we do, do we just pray for miracle? Do we just ask God, Lord, heal me, and not take any medicine and do not go to doctors? Oh Lord, you will. Ah, sabi mo sa Psalms, you will not allow evil to fall upon me. You will take care of me in my going in and going out. No evil can 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 harm me. Oh, now here, nakakasakit ba tayo? Hindi. Yes, we do. Are we saying na we'll just pray for miracle? Aren't we going to? Aren't we? Are we supposed to go to a doctor 
And aren't we going to take the medicines that they're going to prescribe to us? Nasusundan natin. You see, here, gusto, may gusto po ko linawin. All healing are God's miracle. All healing are God's miracle. Kasi yung healing natin, mercy pa rin ng Lord yan sa atin. Grace pa rin ng Lord yan sa atin. So whether tayo po ay binigyan ng supernatural healing or whether we go to a doctor and take the medicine and we got healed, then it's part of His healing and part of His grace and part of His mercy. In the biblical history, mga kapatid, ang Diyos po, tinuturuan po ng tao magtiwala sa Diyos at gawin po yung ating responsibility. Di ba ang Diyos natin, sinabi niya sa Deuteronomy 8.18, Remember the Lord your God because He's the one who gives you the ability to produce health. So ano sinasabi dito? When God finishes His creation, kasama po doon yung ability. Lahat ng tao kailangan na to what? For all of our needs. Pagkain natin, lutuin natin, ihanda natin, nasusundan natin, mga kapatid, kasama po doon yung ability gamutin natin ng ating mga sarili. Church, kasama po doon yung pagbibigay niya po ng mga doktor, ng mga nurses, ng mga medical allied sciences. Kaya po wag po kayo matapot, matakot sa gamot. Matakot po kayo mamatay kayo sa sakit. Hello? Kasi lahat po ng create ng Lord, nung tinapos niya po yung creation, kompleto na. Kasama na nga po yung ability ng taong gamutin niya yung sarili niya. Nasusundan niyo po ako. That's the point there. Yun yung principle dito. Kaya kung tatanggihan po natin ng doktor, tatanggihan na nurses ang hospital, then you're missing the point. Tinatanggihan mo yung healing miracle ng Lord sa life mo. Tingnan niyo po. Kahit po ang Bible, ina-acknowledge po ang doktor. Sabi sa Colossians 4.14, Look, the beloved physician greets you. So, tingin nyo, bakit pa kaya sinabi ni Paul yan? Dali na yan, look, the beloved brother. Nasasundan niyo po? Sinabi niya, look, the beloved physician. Sinasabi niya, oh, ito, may kasama akong doktor. Alam niyo po, mga kapatid, naniniwala ako, kaya po niloob ng Lord, si Luke kasama po ni Paul, ilang beses po kaya nabugbog si Paul? Sino po kaya sa tingin niyo ginamit ng Lord para gamutin si Paul? Did Paul just pray and ask for miracle? Lord, heal me. Ana, nasusundan niyo po. And then, tingnan niyo po, in 1 Timothy 5.23, even the Apostle Paul saying, no longer drink only water, but use a little wine for the sake of your stomach and your frequent ailments. Sinabi man niya kay Timothy, you just pray and pray and pray. Okay, gets niyo po. He's saying, ito yung available medicine dyan sa stomach mo. Gamutin mo. Nasasundan natin? Hindi pa natapos dyan, mga kapatid. Luke 10.34 And when he went to him and bound up his wounds, naalala niyo po yung The Good Samaritan? Even the Lord, sa kwento niya po para sa Good Samaritan, inamin niya po, mga kapatid, yung medicine pouring on oil and wine doon sa wounds ng tao. Hindi mo naman sinabi ng Lord and the, and, the, and the Good Samaritan just prayed for healing for that person. Nasusundan niya po yung ibig ko sabihin. Even ang Lord, ina-admit niya po, ina-acknowledge niya po yung olive oil, may medicinal fact, fact, ano yan, fact, function yan sa katawan ninyo. Gamitin niyo yan. Kasi kaya ako nga provide yan for your healing. In James 5.14, tinan niyo po, gustong gusto ko to. Ito, diretsya. Straight talk. Are any among you sick? They should send for the church elders who will pray for them and then tapos na. And rub olive oil on them in the name of the Lord. So prayer alongside, faith alongside with our responsibility. Pray tayo ng pray ng miracle for healing. Eh, ayan na nga, pinurubayin na. It, 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 James is saying, 
alongside with your faith. Kasama dun yung action mo. So do not just wait for miracle. Because miracle is already here. So praise and thank God for He has given us doctors, medicines, including vaccines and hospitals and that Christ is still alive and making intercession for us. Nasasindan niyo po yung balance view ngayon dito. In 1 John 4.4 Children, you belong to God and you have defeated these enemies. God's Spirit is in you and is more powerful than the one that is in the world. Remember, your God is more, most powerful. God knows that without His help, evil could overcome His people. It's one of the things that can appear overwhelming to them if they have to face it alone. But He who is greater can be trusted to protect us from even the worst spiritual or moral influences. You see, church, the Lord is our keeper at all times. He will never slumber nor sleep. Not only is God all-powerful, He is ever watchful. This is the confidence that the faithful will continue to enjoy. Remember, the Lord watches over His people. The Lord keeps because He is all-powerful, keeps us from falling, and keeps us from dangers from all times. And this is our Lord. And this is our benefits and privilege in Christ Jesus. Kaya po, ano po nga po masasabi natin? Christ and His words means life to us. Life is not life without Christ and His words. We are nothing and have nothing without Him. He is God in every season of life. Let us pray. Father, we know You are our all-powerful and ever-watchful God. You will keep us from falling. You are our protector because You are our covenant. Hayaan mo nga po ang buhay namin mamuhay. Makita. Ikaw nga ang Diyos na aming karelasyon, ang Diyos na aming sinasamba. Let this life, and that, let, us, let this life lived out, seeing that we fully trust you and submit to your will. Bigay mo po sa amin ng iyong pagpapala. Bless each and everyone spiritually, physically, materially, Lord. Bigay mo sa amin ang iyong bendisyon, mayamang pag-ibig ng Diyos Ama, mayamang grasya ng Panginoong Yesus, mayamang pakikipisa ng banal na spirito, tatlong persona sa isang Diyos, mapasating ngayon bukas at magpakailan, kailan paman. Amen. Amen.